stuff we're going to need our iFixit kit to go through. Not sponsored, but love this thing. So from here, we got the four screws. These are not captured screws. So I like to put these actually on the side of the top part of the iFixit case, just so if you have to disassemble something, you know where they go. Boom, we can now go through this time. All right, so this one we got. One, two, three. This is 250 gigabyte. We're gonna put the one terabyte in there instead. decided to go ahead and swap out the RAM as well because I have two of the course Air Vengeance uh, DDR4 32 gig. So since this is an 8 core 16 thread and we're putting in the 1 terabyte MVME, might as well max this thing out with the 64 gigs of RAM too. So let's go ahead and remove this and so while we bought this as a kit, we have now switched out both the Crucial NVMe 500 and Crucial Memory and we're putting in something much higher end. So while this the new machine only cost me 350 bucks, I'm doing a bunch of other modifications to this to where terabyte NVMe cost about 60 bucks when it was on sale. I think I just picked up this new RAM for 68. I'm plugging in another stick that I already had. So these are about one year difference from each other between the two versions, but they're both engines from Corsair. They're both the same speed. So let's rock and roll this thing. One, there's two, it's going to be one beefy machine. This sticker is not going to do much over this compared to over here. going to move that up so then it's going to be touching more over here. Yeah, it's going to make a difference. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and screw things back in.
Yeah, that's time for a drink. Take apart an S a, uh, SSD drive and see if we can't strip it down to smaller parts. So, I've never gone through and done this, but I have seen other people do it. So, that looks like a star head. Let's see. So these are all actually like this. So if we go like this, it's actually easier to see what's where. Looks like it's literally a star. There's a star head right here. Look at this split. Cool. Can't say I haven't. I can't say I've used that star head too often. For reference, this looks like it's a T5. Oh my, look at how small that is. Cool. Well, if that's the case, we can wrap that in some Capton tape. So then it's non electrically conductive. Putting that right there should do the trick. I mean, that part's metal there. This is all plastic, so could probably even get away without Capton tape. We just literally plug that in there. Just like that. It is snug, kind of bringing it down. Yeah, we're gonna cap on tape it just to make sure. Cool. That's done there. All right, after owning this thing for a handful of days, removing everything from it, gutting it, and putting it back together a couple times, we are just about ready to fire this up for the first time. I'm pretty excited. And the fun fact is, this is going to be the most powerful machine I've got in my house. The first 8 core, 16 thread machine, 64 gigs of RAM, and all about the size of my hand, which is awesome. Cool, let's finish cleaning up, plug it in, and let's get OpenShift installed on this bad boy.